Hello. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to go over a super simple post-processing material uh, that's set up in Unreal 4 that allows you to blend in a reference image. Uh, this can be really helpful if you're using a concept or uh, you know an actual image of, of a place, an environment, whatever, um, to blend it on top of your scene to compare your details and scale and color and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so the final product is it's going to look something like this, where you've just got a little slider in your material instance that you can blend your uh, concept into over your scene. Um, so yeah, to, to get started with this, the first thing that we need to do is have an image that we want to import into Unreal. Uh, the first thing we got to do here in Photoshop is make sure that our image, uh, our, um, our canvas size for the image is in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio or whatever ratio your final camera is going to be rendered in. Uh, 16 by 9 is the default, uh, so 1920 by 1080 is a good size for that. Uh, so we're just going to save this image as a Targa for Unreal rather than a JPEG. So I'm just going to call this, you know, reference and saving as 24-bit is perfectly fine. Uh, so we're just going to bring up our content browser. Um, let's see. And we are going to import our reference target and then we are going to create a new material we'll just call this uh, PP for post-processing reference uh, the name of it doesn't really matter it's more for for your own uh, reference there so we're just going to open that on up um, so in this material uh, all we're going to do is uh, we're just going to hold the T button and then click. That's a hotkey for uh, bringing in a texture sample. And then we're going to select that reference image here. Um, and then we're just going to plug that into our, I believe it's our emissive color. And then we're going to set uh, our material domain to post process. Um, so you'll notice that the color is a little off, but that's that's fine for now. Uh, we, we can adjust some things there uh, to, to get that working properly. Uh, we are then going to create a lerp node uh, for our blending. I'm going to plug that into the A, and then we're going to get uh, a scene uh, texture, right? From there. We are going to set that scene texture to post-process input zero. And then we're going to plug that color on into the B and then plug that in. Uh, it's going to complain that we're trying to lerp a float three and a float four. So instead of just plugging in this RGB here, we're going to plug in RGBA, right? And that'll, that'll fix it. Uh, so right now you see that image is kind of being blended over. That's because our alpha of our lerp is at 0.5. So we'll just right click on that and promote to parameter. Uh, <clears throat> with the alpha at zero, uh, it's actually full. So what, what we're going to do is we're just going to swap these two. So it just makes a little bit more sense. So now when the alpha is at zero, that image is not blended in at all. And then when it's at one, it's fully blended in. We're also just going to adjust this slider min. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that at zero and then set the slider max to one. All right, so we're gonna hit apply there. Um, in our content browser, we're just going to make a material instance. And in that material instance now, we can adjust that alpha value, right? So the next thing we got to do is if you don't have a camera in your scene already, uh, we can just place one. So if you go to the place actors and then search for camera, just grab one of these Cine uh, camera actors, place it, right click on it, and then pilot. And then now we're just flying around as that camera. If we go over here into the details settings, 
um, and then under uh, yeah so if you uh, you'll have to scroll down a fair ways but under post process rendering features post process materials there's this array area we're just going to click on that we're going to choose asset reference and then we're going to search for pp underscore and then we're going to grab the uh, pp reference instance that we created and now right if we just open up that instance here right in our from our content browser now as we adjust this value it's going to overlay onto our scene uh, so, so one thing that I, I said earlier that, that you'll notice is that the color is actually kind of off in this image. And the reason for that is because, um, because we're using this texture in a post process, we actually need to change uh, one of the settings on it. So if we go in here, we just want to disable sRGB, and this will turn it to a, a linear uh, de type texture. Uh, and you just need to do that to have those colors work for a post process. Um, so next you'll notice that we're getting this error over here, and that's because the texture sampler type is no longer correct, right? Because it's not it's not actually a color that we're using. It's the uh, the the linear um, the the linear setting that that we had talked about. So we'll just switch that to linear color. And now it's looking the way that we want it to. So you can just save that. And now it's, it's working the way that we want. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You can just you know adjust this as you need. And this can be, like I said, it's, re it's really helpful for if you're trying to match a concept specifically, um, uh, yeah, rather than kind of like dragging pure ref over, over your window each time. The other really helpful thing about this is if you get your camera settings the, the, the way that you want, right? If you get that camera like exactly over something, let's say this actually matched up with, uh, with your concept. When you exit your camera, you can also go over here, right? And then you can lock the, uh, you can lock the actor movement, right? So now when you do that, um, you can no longer just kind of move move this camera. Its transforms are locked. So this way, it'll always kind of remain in that spot. Um, so another way to select your camera is to, you know, you can go and um, uh, pilot it. Another thing you can do is also just from this list here, it, it should uh, list all of your uh, cameras in your scene. Uh, all right, yeah, so that's it. Hope that was helpful.